Jameer Gibbs, is there any is there concern about him? I see comments in Wilbur Sports Chat, people calling him a mega bust. Do you have any of that? No. It's way too early for that kind of talk. When I've seen Jameer Gibbs with the ball in his hands, he's shown me things that I'm like, okay, this kid's going to be good. This kid's going to do some things. He's going to make some people miss. He's going to get some yards. They're not giving him enough volume so he can go out there and do that. They're not giving him the ball enough in the right situations, in my opinion, to where he can use that skill, use that ability to do things like that. But I'm not worried about him at all. I see the talent. I see the talent is there. I see his ability to make people miss. And I'm excited to what he could do. This game, it is extremely important. I think they're going to force feed it to him. They should. They need to get him going. And like I said, it should be speed and space. It should be quick slant routes. A five-yard out. Throw it to him on the screen. Pitch it to him. Coming off the left side, give him some outside zones, some tosses, some sweeps, mm -hmm. some a reverse jet sweep, something to get this kid the ball in his hands with space in front of him to make people miss. That's what you need to do with him. He is not a guy to where you give him the ball up the middle all the time and it's going to work. Will it work? Will he pop one of those eventually? Yes. But what he needs to do is get the ball in his hands with space to work in front of him. And they haven't been putting him in situations like that very much. So I need to see that a lot against the Atlanta Falcons. Because when I've seen him in space, when I've seen him running down the field, when I've seen him making people miss, I've seen shades of, of something that will, will look very good if that continues to happen. So I'd like to see him utilized a little differently than what he was against Seattle, but I'm not worried about him. I'm not calling him a bust yet. If you call him a bust after two games, you're an idiot. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm starting to feel that way too. If you're saying the word bust, you're just an absolute moron at this point. You have to give this thing time. So we gave you the numbers of elite backs that have like similar skill sets to Jameer Gibbs. All the numbers across the board were lackluster. The amount of touches were lackluster. That's it's a, obviously a common theme for the easiest guys into it. Now, obviously, you have a guy like Bijan Robinson who hits the ground running. I know he's a running back, no pun intended, but he's also considered a generational back. Yeah. I mean, as I said earlier, I, I consider him a top five back in the league right now. I only guys I'm taking over him is probably uh, a healthy Barkley, healthy Chubb, who's, who's a CMC. Eckler. Eckler. I don't even know, bro. I think he's a better runner than Eckler. I don't know, dude. Eckler Eckler's is great Eckler's the most slept on player in the, in the NFL.